Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to upload images in Django project. So let's get started. So first, we'll see our output. So this was the, our output. And in the blogs page, we had added few blogs. And here we are going to add an image also along with the blog. So when we go to upload the blog, we must be able to add an image along with it. So let's get started. So we'll open our code. And here, first we'll open the views file. Minimize these functions which you are not using now. So we are in the blogs here. Add blog, okay. So in this we are going to write. So open the models. So here we are going to say image. And here we'll say image field. Okay. So just click image field. And this upload to thing you have to give the file name okay so we'll do that just remove this allow null equal to true as we already have some data in the database so null is true and blank equal to true okay so here in this upload to i'll just give a function name and we'll write the code inside the function say get file name okay so i'll just copy this and create a function over here with this name okay and here just pass the instance and the file name so here what we are going to do is we'll create a variable called old name and we'll store the file name in this so that is file name so this file name we are assigning to this variable called old name and now uh, when we upload the file name okay so they might be two images with the same name so there we have a clash so that will give some error in the images so in displaying the images so what we'll do is we'll create a unique name by concatenating the name with the current date and time so that won't repeat any time so we'll create a variable called current time okay let's add an underscore here to make it look clear and here I'll call date time so let's import it first okay so it's already imported here date time dot date time dot now okay and i want it in this format so i'll say percentage year and the month and the date along with the hour and the minute okay let's keep this in capital and here percentage okay so this is your uh, this is my string format the time format i want to store it in this way so now the file name and the current date and time is fetched so we have to concatenate this so we'll create a variable file name and just concatenate those two variables percentages percentage and give the names okay so current time comma old name okay so here you have to now give the return os dot path dot join and here you have to just give this file name okay so what this does is it will just give the name so i want to keep this in an uploads folder okay so i'll create a folder called uploads so I'll write here uploads slash the file name so just save it okay now once you have finished making all the changes in models.py file we have to migrate the changes okay so we give the command py manage.py make migrations hit enter and you can see the migrations will be applied so you see add field image to blogs in the blogs we have added the field image so now let us migrate it so py manage.py migrate hit enter and the migrations will be applied and now what you have to do is go to the settings file so that will be in your project name that is blog settings and scroll down till here okay 
so where you have mentioned the static file URL so here we have to mention the media root okay so media root and just copy this line okay and paste it here just create one folder first so create new folder and name it as media okay so now this media folder you have to just mention here now go to the URLs file okay and here first you have to import settings okay so from Django dot conf import settings from Django dot conf dot URLs and static import static okay so here you have to just add this if settings dot debug let's give URL pattern plus equal to static uh, settings okay settings dot media URL and this document document underscore root is equal to settings dot media root okay so just save it now let us go to the HTML design so I'll close this and go to your templates accounts and here in the add dot HTML where we are adding here we only had text data right text input we were taking so when we are taking a uh, image as input so when we are uploading image you have to add this enc type here in the form okay so write enc type equals to multipart slash form hyphen data okay so make sure you spell it right so I'll just copy and paste this in the edit.html also so it's working properly when we edit and upload an image also I'll just close it so now when you have added here when you're uploading an image in the views file that is where you write the function the code where you are accepting you have to tell here also that you are accepting some files so here you have to give request dot files okay so this is nothing but the add blog where we'll be adding the blog so if when we are posting the data we are just taking the request dot post along with the request dot files okay so just copy this thing and paste it in the edit also so edit blog so we are taking this instance of blog id and request dot post and just add this in between okay let us run and test the code so let's go to blog add blog add an item from electronics and say hp laptop description it is a good laptop and let us upload an image so i have kept image on the desktop and let's click add and blog added successfully it says okay so you can see it's added here so let us go and check so inside your folder it has to get uploaded so inside media you see okay you have got this uploads folder okay so it's uploaded here so let us try on edit also so this mobile thing which we already have let edit and we'll add a mobile image okay so here there is a mobile image so I'll upload it so it's uploaded successfully let us check in the folder so you can see inside the media this uploads folder was created by here this code okay so we have given here uploads so inside media it created uploads folder and inserted the image so now we'll just fetch this in the front end and show in the index page okay templates accounts and here is the index.html so in this table where we are showing this this table we'll just add the image over here okay so we'll add a table heading and name it image so it's going to be image save and under the blocks category just add a img tag here okay so img and give src equals and here what you have to do is you have to just copy this 
paste okay so here what you have to do is blocks dot image dot url okay so what this does is it will give the complete url you don't have to add anything to this let's give an alt attribute to this image so we'll say image here blocks which don't have an image that will not be able to run this code so it will give an error so what we can do is you can just add an if condition here so if and i give an else in between else and here inside the if you can just copy this code and paste it okay so if there is an image so how do you write that just copy this if blocks dot image so if there is it will get true and it will come in else it will come here so what we are going to do here is we are going to show a dummy image okay so that will be default whichever block doesn't have any image this image will be shown over there so for that you can just remove this and give static so here in this static folder i have put an image inside this image i have called dummy dot jpg okay so there is a image so i am going to display this image for whichever block doesn't have an image call it images slash dummy dot jpg okay so now let us reload and check the output so I'll run so you can see the size is too big but we have got our output what we wanted so we'll just this can be done by css so if you want you can use your custom css i'll just use a bootstrap class here i'll class width 50 okay i'll just copy and paste this paste and reload so you can see the image has become small. So thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you once again.